This is a review for the Samsung Jet 75. The vacuum's airflow was measured at 39 CFM. Its suction was measured at 118 inches of water lift. Its airflow is slightly above average and its suction is well above average. The Jet 75 is also able to maintain high suction over time because its pre-motor filter doesn't easily clog up with fine dust and debris. This is well demonstrated in our flower clog test in which very little flour is able to make its way past the vacuum cyclones and onto its pre-motor filter. Compare this result to that of a typical cheaper cordless vacuum that doesn't have multiple cyclones to filter out fine debris. The cheaper vacuum will lose suction much quicker and require much more filter maintenance than the Jet 75. When it comes to pickup of surface level debris, cleaner head design is a critical factor. The front of the Jet 75 standard cleaner head is a hard edge that's low to the ground. This design gives it a good seal to the floor, which improves deep cleaning performance, but this design causes it to plow forward certain large debris, especially on hard surfaces. In our carpet stress test, the Jet 75 picks up small debris without issue. It's also able to glide over most large debris. It plows forward only a few Cheerios in this test. In our hard floor stress test, it again doesn't have any trouble with fine debris but here it plows forward a lot of large debris. To remedy this issue, you can buy a Jet 75 that includes a soft roller cleaner head, or you can buy it separately. With this head equipped, the vacuum does much better at picking up larger debris on hard floors. When it comes to deep cleaning performance, the Jet 75 does well. In our carpet deep clean test, it picked up 70% of debris after being pushed back and forth three times over an area of carpet embedded with fine debris. This is a very good result. The very best performers in this test picked up 80% of debris under the same conditions. In our hard floor crevice test, the Jet 75 also performed well. It was able to pull up all of the flour in the crevice in under 10 passes. This is a well above average result for a cordless vacuum. The Jet 75 also offers a good combination of battery life and performance. On its mid setting, it was tested to run for up to 22 minutes and on this setting, it still offers good performance. For example, it picked up 63% of debris in our carpet deep clean test on mid versus 70% on high. The Jet 75 also comes with a swappable battery, and the complete model, which we tested for this review, also comes with an extra battery. Debris containment is another strong point for this vacuum. We don't see any fog leaking or exhausting out of the Jet 75 in this test. Hair tangling is a bit of a mixed bag. In our long hair pickup tests, the Jet 75 standard cleaner head didn't tangle with any 8 inch long hair, but tangled with about 75% of 14 inch long hair. Its 8 inch result is better than average. Its 14 inch result is considerably worse than the average of 50%. We also tested the Jet 75 with a soft roller cleaner head. And with this cleaner head, it tangled with 30% of 8 inch long hair and 70% of 14 inch long hair. These are both worse than average results. Ease of use is mostly a strong point for the Jet 75. The vacuum's main body is very light and so is its cleaner head. This gives it excellent handling and makes it very easy to use as a handheld as well. When it comes to controlling the vacuum, the Jet 75 offers an on off button and plus and minus buttons to adjust suction. There's also a display that shows the current suction level. The only complaint we have here is that you do have to hold the plus button down for a few seconds to put the vacuum on jet mode, its highest suction level. The Jet 75 Complete, we tested for review, has a dustbin with a maximum measured capacity of 575 milliliters, which is above average for a cordless vacuum and much larger than the more expensive Bespoke Jet's 375 milliliter dustbin. The big negative for the Jet 75 Complete in this area compared to the Bespoke Jet is that the Bespoke Jet lets you place the whole vacuum on the auto empty station to empty the bin and charge the vacuum. With the Jet 75 Complete, you have to remove the bin from the vacuum and then place only the bin on the station to empty it. You also can't charge the vacuum on the station. You charge the battery separately in an included wall dock. Summarizing the pros and cons for this vacuum, the Jet 75 offers plenty of power. It has high tested airflow and suction. It's also able to maintain high suction over time because its filters don't clog easily with fine debris. This vacuum can clean up surface level debris and deep clean carpet well with its multi-floor head. And it can clean hard floors well with an available Samsung soft roller head. Battery life is another very strong positive for this vacuum. 
It has excellent battery life and still gets good pickup on lower suction levels. Not to mention the fact that it features a swappable battery and the complete model comes with an extra battery. We also really like the auto empty functionality of the complete's auto empty station. On the negative side of things, the Jet 75 standard cleaner head doesn't pick up large debris on hard floors well. It also tangles very easily with 14 inch long hair. Its soft roller cleaner head tangles very easily with 14 inch and with eight inch long hair. We also don't like having to hold down the plus button on the vacuum to set it to maximum suction. We like the complete model's auto empty functionality, but using this functionality adds a recurring cost to ownership. You have to buy replacement dust bags for the station. You also have to partially disassemble the vacuum to empty its bin, and you can't charge it on the station. You have to charge it on a separate dock. Before we make general recommendations, we first have to distinguish between the Jet 75 PET and the Jet 75 Complete. The PET model is usually about $100 cheaper and doesn't come with a clean station or an extra battery. Otherwise, outside of color, the two models are identical. At its regular retail price of around $400, the Jet 75 PET is usually priced somewhere in between the Dyson V8 and Dyson V10. Compared to the V8, the Jet 75 PET is a better vacuum. The biggest benefit you get with the Jet 75 is a medium power suction setting with excellent battery life and good pickup ability. With a V8, you have to choose between high power with good pickup but poor battery life and low power with good battery life but below average pickup ability. The V8 doesn't offer a medium suction setting. The V10 has a medium power setting with good performance. It runs slightly longer and deep cleans even better than the Jet 75 on medium. Its standard cleaner head also doesn't tangle as easily with longer hair, and it's compatible with Dyson soft roller cleaner heads, which have a laser for detection of fine dust on hard surfaces and don't tangle nearly as easily with longer hair as the Jet 75 soft roller option. Overall, the V10 is the better vacuum, and we think its advantages over the Jet 75 PET are worth its slightly extra cost. The Jet 75 PET is a great alternative though, and an excellent cordless vacuum for the price. We currently recommend it as the best mid-range cordless vacuum that's not a Dyson. We generally do not recommend the Jet 75 Complete. The clean station adds a recurring cost to your purchase, replacement dust bags, and you have to partially disassemble the vacuum to use it. You also can't charge the vacuum or store it on the station. If auto empty functionality is something you're really interested in, we recommend the Samsung Bespoke Jet instead. It is usually quite a bit more expensive than the Jet 75 Complete, but it's a much more complete, no pun intended, solution with vacuum storage and charging on the actual auto emptying station. See the description of this video for a link to our Bespoke Jet review, as well as a link to the latest updated list of all of the cordless vacuums we recommend, and thank you for watching.